My mind, here's Vassos. Chris, I'm about to reveal today's mystery guest, after which you'll be required to conduct an interesting, stimulating, and if it calls for it, humorous three minute interview without any prior knowledge of the subject. Good luck, my friend. Thank you. Further food talk on the show today, of course, after the marvellous Mary Wilson yesterday revealed her love of the liquor, sauce that is, on a traditional serving of pie and mash. Your mystery guest today knows the difference between a lashing of liquor, a ladle of luxurious gravy, and a prime portion of pea in serving up a scrumptious supper. He is a master of the mash and a pioneer of the perfected pie. From Whitby, please welcome the owner of Humble Pie and Mash, David Agnew. Pioneer. Morning, David. Hello. How did you get to own a humble pie and mash shop because here's the thing David and I'm sure you'll agree with me here you know lottery winners are often asked what they're going to do with their money none of them say buy a pie and mash shop and I don't know why well cause I, firstly I haven't won the lottery so <laughs> no but you know what I'm saying I do yeah well it's basically my wife's idea I mean she's the genius behind it all. she used to live in London and she's seen the pie and mash down there but it's not actually up to much pie wise so we brought it up north <laughs> Put our Yorkshire spin on it, which is basically just fill the pies up with meat. You know, it's, it's simple. But we've set the shop, uh, we seemed all 1940s, we've got yes. an open fire, old radios, newspapers kicking about from the era, and you get your pie served on a tin plate, you know, the old enamel tin plates. OK, and you've got two lovely plate glass windows there as well. Oh, yeah, love it. We're just oh. glassing them, you know, like the bull's eye. Absolutely loving that. Were you aware, my friend, and I've just received this on the text ten minutes before, rather spookily, uh, you came on, that tomorrow is the annual pie competition in Melton Mowbray. Did you know that? Uh, yeah, I was aware of that, like, but it's, we don't actually enter any competitions. Well, you don't need to. You're in a class of your own. We should, we're all going to have to know, aren't we? <laughs> all right, so we went into your pie shop and we're never going to leave, by the way. So what are we going for? Tell us. Well, I mean, the best seller is the steak and stout. I mean, it's, it's braised for hours and hours. It's lovely and tender. It's full to the brim of steak. Lovely seasoning on it. Plenty oh. of Guinness in there. <sighs> you know, that's a, that's a, a good seller. Oh. Lovely cheaters. All right, now you've ditched the liquor sauce from down south, yeah. haven't you? And what have you replaced it with? Well, proper gravy. <laughs> proper gravy. Proper gravy. <laughs> well, what, what do you mean, proper gravy? Well, it's lovely. It's, you know, it's thick. It's uh, delicious. Just, just, it goes with the pies perfectly. The liquor, we tried it, and then up north you say, you know, do you want liquor on it? And what, you're going to put whiskey on the pie? Yeah. No, it's just green stuff made with fish sauce and, yeah. and parsley. It's an acquired like, taste. No, thanks, I'll miss on that. It's an acquired taste and an acquired look. Is there such a thing as bad gravy? You see, I, even the worst gravy in the world is still gravy to me. No, it's got to be, it's got to be nice and thick and it's got to be well made. All right. Wine in there, you know. OK, humble pie and mash. Do you deliver, do you deliver online? We don't, I'm afraid, no. Well, you should. <laughs> There's a burgeoning market here down south waiting to be tapped. Yeah. <laughs>